Hello. This is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And this is the uh, Queen Creek wash that is full to, we'll call it full to the brim. And uh, that happens in the wintertime as the water runs off the mountains after we've had heavy, heavy rain or snow. And I like to fly down into that, uh, into that wash, whether it's dry or wet, and uh, fly around. Well, anyway, with the Bebop 2 that I had first, and my Mavic 2 Zoom, when I would fly down below the level of the takeoff point, the altimeter in both of those uh, drones would become inaccurate. Uh, once you went to the negative numbers in altitude, then when you were finished, you, your altitude readings were not accurate. So what I want to do is test by coming up to this light pole and uh, leveling myself, be careful there, leveling myself to its level and then checking the altitude and then come back later after flying around, going negative and a whole bunch of stuff like that to see if it's still the same. So 13 feet is what we're reading. Now you notice I've got uh, two different readings. First of all, I had two cam three cameras here. I got the camera on the, on the uh, drone, on the Mavic, and then also the uh, camera on my phone's screen recorder. And that's what you see at the very bottom. And then the camera, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the screen recorder on my desktop is the uh, white square, and that's from Air Data. And uh, so you'll notice also that uh, the uh, telemetry shows that there's sonar altitude and a barometric altitude, and we'll talk about that as, uh, as time goes by. But the sonar altitude is only accurate to about uh, 30 feet or so, and then it can't give an accurate enough reading. So then it switches over to the barometric altitude, which is what airplanes use, uh, because uh, when you get uh, up really high, well then the barometric pressure changes. So we're gonna fly down here and it's full, we'll call it to the brim right now, but it's not, never gets full to the brim, uh, otherwise it would flood and the purpose is to avoid flooding. And in the summertime, I fly down into the bottom when it's dry and there's a picture of a cottontail that I got last summer uh, in August when everything was dry and there's all kinds of little uh, uh, animals living down in there at the bottom, including snakes, but uh, there's a whole bunch of cottontails. And so this guy here that you see, he's uh, eating his breakfast. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I, I just happened to catch him when he was looking for some dry leaves to eat. So that was last August. And this is the end of December. And uh, so I decided that I'd check out uh, the, the uh, wash and also check out the accuracy of the uh, telemetry data in the Mavic Mini. So here I'm coming down to where the, uh, the wash, when it's full, it runs underneath the highway here. And you can kind of see that uh, there's a kind of a creek that runs on beyond the highway. But I want to check and see if there's any current or if it's just stagnant and uh, uh, not filling up anymore. So I flew down here, uh, careful not to run into the high tension wires that are uh, running along the side of the highway. And uh, there, there you can kind of see them at the top of the screen. And you can see that there is definitely a current, which is probably why they call it Queen Creek. And then uh, on the other side of the, of the highway, you can see it's flowing through there. So it's got a pretty good flow, which means if it's flowing out, it must be flowing in. So um, uh, we'll, by the way, parts of this video are going to be run at three times speed because I don't want you to get bored looking at water. <laughs> so we're going to turn around here and we're going to go uh, three times speed back to where I'm standing. So um, this is, this is uh, typical for a winter. It doesn't fill up like this every winter, so it is kind of rare. And you can see the mountains in the background and the mountains further beyond the ones that uh, you see right there. Over to the left, there we go. Uh, they're higher and they have snow on them, but our mountains right nearby, they're 25, 30 miles away they aren't, weren't high enough to get up to the snow level. 
So anyway, here we are, three times speed. We're gonna come down here and then we're gonna slow down the normal speed. And we're gonna start looking at the altimeters, um, the sonar and the barometric pressure in the telemetry. And uh, also down at the bottom of the screen, uh, uh, that what displays at the bottom of the screen is determined by the, uh, the computer in the Mavic Mini. So it uh, looks like we're about five feet above the ground and uh, we're gonna drop down to where you'll see that we're going into a negative, we're going below the level of the uh, launching pad. So we're down to a negative uh, number of feet. Now if you'll notice the white square, the sonar, is measuring the distance to the actual ground below. And uh, so it's showing a positive number and uh, that's good because then I know how far I am from the, <laughs> well, after the fact, I know how far I am from the ground and the water and all that. But as we keep drop, dropping down, we get down to about six uh, or seven feet below the launching pad. And uh, we're still three or, three or four feet above the dirt. Uh, and that's a nice thing about the air data readout. It gives you all that information. It does have other issues trying to synchronize the camera uh, recording of the drone with the screen recording of, from my phone and the, uh, so, the barometric and so, sonar uh, information from air data, which I use my screen recorder on my computer, uh, trying to synchronize the speeds of those recorders because they, they don't all record at the same speed. And so it uh, looks like uh, we're back, come back to a positive level. Now we're gonna run up to the other end of the, of the screen, of the uh, wash, and uh, see if there's current coming in or is it just draining. So we'll go three times speed. Now, one of the things you'll notice is the, uh, the telemetry information from the uh, barometric uh, reading it follows, it, it drags or lags behind the reading on the screen. And uh, that, that one kind of confused me, but I guess what they want to do is keep it simple while you're flying. So this, the, the phone screen recorder just shows you uh, one, one digit and uh, that's about it, or more than one digit, but one reading, while the uh, telemetry information shows you everything in between. And uh, that's probably good planning. Like for instance, when I moved down to Arizona uh, from Washington State, uh, I went from, Pat, from Spokane, Washington down to Phoenix, Arizona. I went through a whole bunch of towns in between. But you don't wanna hear about all those towns in between, that's just confusing. So that's what uh, DJI does. The, all the telemetry, telemetry information shows everything from point A to point B that uh, you go through but that would be distracting while you're flying your drone. So instead of showing every step along the way, uh, they have a method of just, uh, you know, here's where you are and here's where we're going or however they do it. But it makes the screen reading a whole lot less uh, bothersome. Now you'll notice here, uh, I'm through, I, I can see we've got a good current coming in from up there in the mountains and it, it comes down, you can trace the queen Queen Creek uh, route all the way from up on those mountains, but you can see I'm backing up because I got a sig I got a, a weak signal warning, and uh, I've got a video on this too. But when you get a weak signal warning, do not turn around because you'll get a weaker signal when you try to turn around because your antennas get misaligned. So just back up until you get a stronger signal. Then now we got a pretty good view of the current coming into the coming into the uh, wash too. But anyway, so here I am, I'm backing up and uh, careful to keep a good signal because it got pretty, uh, well, you could, just, you could tell it I was starting to lose a good signal here. So we're just gonna back up nice and slow and keep our signal until we get far enough back that we aren't getting any kind of uh, screen uh, jittering or anything. And so here I am turning around gently and uh, you get to see some, uh, uh, I think you're gonna get to see some ducks floating in the pond there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where along here, 
but I saw some when I was uh, putting this video together that I missed when I was flying. So here we go, and now we're gonna go three times speed so we don't get too bored. And uh, we'll go down here and to where I'm standing, and uh, uh, you'll notice that the, uh, the barometric pressure follows, lags behind the, uh, the, the altitude that uh, is shown on the screen recorder. So here I come, and uh, now we're gonna go back to regular speed. Nope, we're still going, oh, there we go, yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna turn and go into the lamp post one more time. Now remember when we were there before, it was reading 13 feet. Now watch the barometric pressure and uh, altitude and the sonar altitude, because this is low enough that the, the uh, drone is using the sonar altitude. And so the barometric altitude is, is lagging behind, but you'll see it will catch up. And uh, I don't know if that's because DJI, DJI has designed it to do that or, or what. But we're coming down here now. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, uh, the altitude says 13 feet. And the sonar altitude will eventually catch up. And it'll say 13 feet. And all points in between. <laughs> so we get down a little bit lower. And there you go. Uh, sonar is reading 12.8, uh, and the uh, the screen display is reading 13. And of course, our barometric uh, altitude uh, in the telemetry it has caught up to some extent. But uh, like I said, I think DJI trusts the sonar altitude more because when you go into land, uh, that's kind of important. But as you can see. Uh, the, your Mavic Mini maintains an accurate altitude reading much better than the DJI uh, uh, Mavic 2. I had the Mavic 2, or I have the Mavic 2 zoom, and it would not do this. When I'd come back to check the altitude, it would be way off. So that's a plus, and uh, I'm thankful for that. Well, thank you for watching, and God bless.